Well, this weekend it's Iowa's turn to be busy with high school football championship games, and that meant a return appearance for the West Sioux Falcons. Although this year, Ryan Schweso's team moved up to Class 1A. Only two teams had ever gone back to back in different classes. Falcons were down 23 to 10 in the second quarter when Hunter Deckers went to work, hitting Cade Lynott for that five-yard score. West Sioux then goes and scores again. Lynott for the touchdown from two yards out. They're up by a point at halftime. They trail though when Dyke New Hartford scores twice in a 20 second span and leads 38-31 in the fourth. But from there, Deckers takes over. He was unbelievable today. Lynott, 55 yards to the house and we're tied up at 38. Minutes later, hey, do it again. They can't stop it. Another touchdown. Lynott had 10 catches for 203 yards and three touchdowns. And this guy had five touchdown passes in this great run for a score. This one ices the game. He, uh, he knows it too. That makes it 52 to 38 and they are back to back champs in different classes, no less. Let's go to your scoreboard. That was your final. Deckers had a monster game, accounting for over 500 yards and six touchdowns. Lineout was pretty good, too. Falcons go back to back. Their only loss was to Boyden Hull Rock Valley. Now, that's who played in the next game as the Nighthawks go for the 2A title against top seeded PCM Monroe. They're down 7 0 when Reed Worth airs it out and finds Brayton Van Dyke, and they're down 13 0 at halftime. JT Van Hull finds Cody. Post on the sideline, a 28-yard score. Nighthawks back in it, down just 13-7. But that top-seeded team played like it. They score the final three touchdowns. Worth to Isaac Telfer. The Mustangs blow the game open. They win 28-7. That's their first title as they go to 13-0 on the year. The Nighthawks with a great season finish at 11-2. Speaking of football, the honors just keep rolling in for our Athlete of the Week. USF running back Gabe Watson has been named the NSIC Offensive Player of the Year after rushing for a single season school record of 1,957 yards and 26 touchdowns. And that is without benefit of extra playoff games. He led Division II in both of those categories and averaged 7.3 yards per carry. Now Northwestern freshman wide receiver Dakota Larson was also named Newcomer of the Year at almost 900 yards receiving for the Wolves. The state volleyball tournament continues tonight at the Premier Center with semifinal matches in Class AA. The Watertown Arrows behind Mariah Glow's 18 kills knocked off Huron in a five-set thriller yesterday. They'll play top-seeded Rapid City Stevens in the first match that's going on right now in Class A. Top-seeded Miller looked impressive in their straight-set win over Rapid City Christian. Katie Fernholz had 22 kills, but they face Defending champion Sioux Falls Christian, led by Kylie Van Egdom. She had 19 kills. And uh, how about in Class B, top seed and defending champion Northwestern, rolling to their 36th one of the year. Riley Grand Prix had uh, a nice day for them. They've had a long layoff between that noon match yesterday, and they play tonight at 6 o'clock. Warner and Chester in that other match, in the late match. Uh, Miller and Elk Point, Jefferson playing right now. Sioux Falls Christian and MCM in the late match. And in double-A, it's O'Gorman, Washington, and Rapid City, Stevens, and Watertown. And we have a couple of more college signings. Five track stars going to USD. Alec Atwood, Camden Wolf, Braden Peters, Krista Bickley, and Emma Howman. Augustana gets a, a softball player from O'Gorman, Bergen Linder. And Dakota Wesleyan, a soccer player from Tri-Valley, Skyler Scovland. It was a busy night in college basketball last night. Frost Arena was the place where I was most impressed. The Jackrabbit women hosting Creighton. Maya Selland in the paint. Watch what she does here. Off the glass and in. Nobody was going to stop her. She puts it up and in. And just to prove she can score from elsewhere on the floor, they work it around. Great teamwork here. Back to Selland. Three of her 13 points as the uh, Jackrabbits really dominated this game. And Macy Miller with the steal is going to go coast to coast. 23 points and 10 rebounds for her. Jacks win it 74 48. We we'll have a busy night tonight in men's basketball, so uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a wild night at 10 in sports. We'll be right back.